Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on solving linear simultaneous equations with unequal coefficients where the second unknowns have different signs. And what I mean by that is that we've got different signs in front of say the y term here and they're different numbers as well. So this is minus one, but this is plus two, one and two are different numbers. And here again, different signs, plus and minus, and the two and the five are different numbers. So let's think what we did in the previous videos. Do you remember, we scaled these two equations, so the number in front of either the x or the y was the same. And I'm gonna just choose to make the numbers in front of the y the same. So if I make this one here, what do one and two both go into? Well, they both go into two. So I want these numbers to both be two, either positive or negative. And can you see, well, that's already two, but the one, I need to scale it by timesing it by two to make it two. So if I'm gonna times the left-hand side this particular equation by two, I have to do the same to the right-hand side and times that by two as well. So if I do that, well, the five X becomes 10 X if I times it by two, the minus Y becomes minus two Y and the 15 times two is 30. And then the second equation, I've already got that as two, so I'm just going to copy it out for convenience. Now let's think what we need to do to these two equations. So we call this equation one, this equation two. In the previous video, we subtracted the two equations, but this time, can you see we need to add the two? Because if you add minus two y and plus two y, that comes to zero y, they cancel, which is what we want, because we want to eliminate one of the variables, in this case, the y. So let's do that, let's add the two equations. 10x plus three x is 13x. Minus two y plus two y is zero y, that's great, they've canceled, they've been eliminated and we're adding these, 30 plus 22 is 52. And if x multiplied by 13 is 52, we just divide both sides by 13 to get x is equal to four. And again, the last step of solving simultaneous equations is we use that value of x we know, in this case four, and we substitute it into one of the original equations. I'm gonna just substitute it into this first equation. So five times four is 20, subtract y is equal to 15. Well, 20 minus what is 15? Well, it's five, so y is five, and we have our answers for x and y. So x is four and y is five. What about this one? We've got two and five here, so we're gonna have to scale both of them. It might be easier to make the numbers in front of the x the same, because if that's one, we could just times that by three to make it match that three. But just for consistency, I'm going to make the y's match. So two and five, what do they both go into? 10. So the two, if I want to make that 10, I'm gonna to have to times it by five. And if I times the left-hand side by five, I times the right-hand side by five. And that five to make it 10, I need to times by two. So if I times that by two, I have to times the right-hand side by two. And remember, I like to write in what I'm doing to each side of the equation so I don't forget in the later step what I'm doing to each side of the equation because I've got two equations and you don't wanna get in a muddle there. So let's scale these equations. We're timesing this left-hand side by five. That becomes 15x plus two y times five is 10 y. The minus three times five is minus 15. And the second equation we're timesing by two instead. So we're gonna have two x minus 10 y times the 16 by two is 32. And to make these 10 y's cancel, we're gonna add them. So 10 y plus negative 10 y, that is zero y, so it's gonna make that cancel. So we're adding the two equations, just like before. 15x plus two x is 17x. 10y plus negative 10y is just zero y. And then minus 15 plus 32 is 17. And well, 17 times x is 17, well x is just one. And as before, we substitute that x value of one, or it could be a y value we found, back into one of these original equations. I'm just gonna choose the first equation. Three times one is three, plus two y is equal to negative three y has been multiplied by two, then we're adding three. So I wanna get rid of that plus three first because it was the last thing we did. So that just gives you two y on the left-hand side, minus three, if we subtract three is minus six, divide both sides by two, and we get y is negative three, and that is our final answer.